I guys were right with the bump. So, you know, what I'm thinking to myself is, you know, I, I want to have a lot of detail in the area right around me because the dog is so big. And Krista will tell you, they'll crash right into you. Oh, yes. Or into each other. So you can't be that to them. You've got to not be somebody that can be crashed into. Anyway, so I, you know, again, and I don't want a dog that looks at all when I'm putting a leash on. That's my move, and that should be your move at home. If you have to clip the leash to something and practice doing that, you should be master of the leash. And the dog should know that. Anyway, let me see if I can get him. Well, hey. heel. You know, but I'm just looking for as much heel detail as possible. Yay. Heel. Heel. In. You know, the area. Heel. Close to me. Heel. Heel. I'm going to tell you what that was. He threw in the little hop to see if that would get something. And I'll tell you, it did. It did. You know, so right here, I need to feel like I can move him. Heel. You know, back beside me. You know, not that once he goes forward. Come through. And I do want free agency on the leash, but I also want him to understand. You know, the the first thing I teach any of them is I don't want the leash made tight, so. All right, so we're just going to work on this retreat. You know, and if you, can, you know, and I can take the leash off, and if you said, what's the difference? Again, not much. Dog in training. All right, so Chris is just going to put our things Let's just do two of them. I was working this dog on being steady, but I want precursors, so I've got a very tiny. And he doesn't need to be paid like the other one. You know, and if you said, well, what were you doing with the pager? I was guiding him. You know, the same way you would guide him with the leash, because the pager was the leash, basically. 